that's a great transition into the racial reckoning that's going on. And I want to explore that a little bit with you. Um, you've long said that companies need to create more products for customers of color and also have more diverse leadership. Um, do you think that George Floyd's death created a new sense of urgency for that? And how do you feel about the pace of change currently? I, I think so. And it's it's really fascinating because I see it, especially in my kind of public board directorships that I sit on. You, know, you see shareholders making this a very important imperative, right? Um, and when I think about the real imperative behind retail investors and supporting companies uh, that believe in the same values that they have, you're starting to see it manifest in, in a really kind of positive way. The thing that I've been inspired by, at least over the past 18 months or so, is that I think that there's more acknowledgement of the trauma that Black folks have had to face over the past few hundred years, right? Um, but acknowledgement isn't enough. Once you've acknowledged it, you have to really model the way, right? And the only way to model the way is to really understand um, and appreciate and execute against the values uh, that you have, not only for your company, but the people within it. I think all too often after the acknowledgement, folks try to go to action and it's impossible to act without knowing what your values are, right? So I think that there are a lot of companies trying to feel their way through what that modeling looks like, uh, redefining and getting more precise about those values. But I am intrigued and inspired by the fact that we are forcing companies to start to ask that of themselves. So I think the, the pace of change could always be faster, um, but progress is good, uh, at least in this, in this domain.